guys, what is up? It is Contrawar13 here, doing what I like to call a park battle. You may have seen it on some other channels, um, including Coaster Studios. That's kind of who I got my idea from. I'm not copying, I just thought it was a really great idea from him, and I wanted to do it on our channel. But, um, basically what this is, if you've never seen it, we put two parks right against each other. I will be starting out with parks that I have gone to, and, because then I know the actual thing. But, we will be starting out like that, and the farther, eventually we'll do parks that I've never gone to, but we'll just have them battle and in this first ep i mean we will put all the roller coasters at each park against each other and one point per roller coaster which one wins and i have mix of rides extra stuff extra attraction well just the total amount of rides not mix but the total amount and you guys should comment on ways I can make it even better, how you think of it, and that sort of thing. But in the first park battle, it's Six Flags St. Louis versus Silver Dollar City. Because I have gone both uh, to both of those parks very recently. Six Flags St. Louis, my home park, and Silver Dollar City is two and a half hours away way so not that far and yeah oh yeah and the final thing that we do is the rating that it gets when you search google but let's get started with this battle i don't want to make it too long and the logos will be in each corner for all the slides well most of them not like total rides but here we have Mr. Freeze going up the straight with the inverted top hat right behind it. And there is Outlaw Run going on its double barrel roll majestically. And the first mashup is two family slash kid coasters. And the score will be in the middle, stats on the side. Well, River King Mine Train is taller and we know more about it. And for, I did not ride that, actually. It's kind of a kiddie coaster, and this is a, just a family coaster. It does slightly beat you up, but it's long, it's fun, it's got a good drop at the end. It's a great ride for families. So, one to nothing, Six Flags St. Louis. Two amazing wood coasters. The Boss or Outlaw Run. Okay, from personal experience, Outlaw Run is my second favorite ride I have ever been on. I liked Outlaw Run more than Tatsu at Six Flags Magic Mountain. And then X2 is my favorite ride I've ever ridden. I should do a top 10 rides I've ridden. But, there are the trains. It goes upside down three times. It's, war ver it's wooden. It has a max vertical ang angle of 81 degrees it's short ride boss is way longer and has more drops but the drop on this is just insane you're like standing up because of the air time you're flying out and it drops way more because the terrain boss does that too but this does it even more and it goes faster just a great ride experience great ride now some theming when you're in the queue line awesome it has these overbank turns amazing two awesome b m coasters oh i forgot to say outlaw run one so one to one two awesome b m coasters though batman the ride and wildfire i loved the view on wildfire and the first drop because it's massive like you feel so high up because it's built on a hill you feel way higher up. Just look at that view. You can even see it. 
And but I do prefer Batman the Ride because it is more intense. It I mean, it doesn't go as fast, it's not as tall, not as big of a drop. But because you're hanging and you it's so compact, it's really intense and fun. So it's two to one, six like St. Louis. Two awesome airtime coasters. American Thunder, which you're out of your seat the whole ride, pretty much. Except it's shorter, it's wooden though. It's, um, pretty long durations. But look at this, super long. It's taller, I mean, it drops bigger. It goes way faster. It features a chain lift and a launch. So it's really fun and you fly out of your seat a lot. Which I prefer powder cake because I love launches. And I prefer steel. Well, no, not in some cases. But yeah, it's two to two now, tied up. Two awesome family coasters, Pandemonium and Thunderation. I do prefer Thunderation. It is my favorite mine train I've ever been on. It's really smooth, really fun ride, has an 81 foot drop and it's a mine train. Even though I love Pandemonium, I gotta go with the Thunder. It's got good theming too, goes through some tunnels, long ride. Yeah, let's continue on. Two coasters that have nothing in common. Ninja, which pretty much kills your head and gives you a headache. Or Fire in the Hole, which is a very weird dark ride. I mean, roller coaster inside that has like three tiny 20 foot drops. It's powered. It has like water that just splashes up randomly at the end. It's weird. But I do prefer it because it doesn't, it's not bumpy really. So I prefer it over. It just, Ninja's too bumpy. Too bumpy. Six Flags St. Louis has three extra coasters, making it five to four now. And it used to be two to four. So they have Mr. Freeze, Reverse Blast, Screaming Eagle, a pretty good airtime filled wooden coaster, and Boomerang. It's an average for Coma Boomerang. Except Silver Dollar City has great shows and the Marvel Cave. It will get two extra points. Make it now five to six again. It's a close battle. Mix of rides. Well, I accidentally messed that up, but St. Louis has 44. Silver Dollar City has 22. I just put them on the wrong side. Sorry about that. But Six Flags St. Louis has 44 to 22. So Six Flags St. Louis is obviously going to win. On, I mean, total rides, not mixed. But, it's the tiebreaker. Rating, when you search on Google, Six Flags St. Louis gets a 4.1 rating. Silver Dollar City gets a 4.4. So, the end is near. Winning by one point just barely pulls it off. Get ready for Silver Dollar City. And there is Outlaw Run, because it is the best new ride. This truly deserves the title of one awesome park. Has some great theming, great thrill rides, Wildfire and Outlaw Run and Powder Keg, Thunderation and stuff. Great, great, great kids area. I don't know how this wasn't one number one kids area. It's so big, and it's awesome. They have that awesome... They just have a really awesome selection. They also have this area perfect for families and kids because they have a kitty coaster in that area. But they also have that ride, which is more for thrill seekers, kind of. And they have a swinging ship ride. Just awesome. But that will be the end of this video. Um, You guys should, if you have the choice between going to Six Flags St. Louis or Silver Dollar City, I would say go to Silver Dollar City. But that will be the end of this video, and I'll see you guys next time.